Hugo Laurenz August Hoffmann, Edler von Hoffmannsthal, was an Austrian writer and dramatist. He was born in 1874 in Vienna, the son of Hugo August Peter Hoffmann von Hoffmannsthal, director of the Austrian Central Board and Credit Bank, and Anna Maria Josefa Vorleutne. He attended the Akademische Gymnasium in Vienna. His early poetry, published under a pseudonym, due to students at the gymnasium not being permitted to publish, ranked him among the Jung Wien set, among Hermann Bahr and Arthur Schnitzler. After graduation, he studied to be a jurist, to appease the will of his father, going to the University of Vienna. But after a year, he left to voluntarily serve a year in the 6th Dragoon Regiment in Brno and Horoyim. In 1901, he married Gertrude Schlesinger. During World War I, he served briefly in Istria, but soon was reassigned to write war propaganda. He was nominated for the Nobel Prize in Literature four times, but never won. He died in 1929 in Rodau, Vienna. As a dramatist, he was known for writing several modern mystery plays, i.e. a version of medieval religious plays, such as his 1911 Yederman, and dramas like The Egyptian Helena or The Woman Without a Shadow. Today, we will cover his 1905 collection, The 672nd Night's Tale and Other Stories. The title story concerns the anonymous son of a merchant who closed his house in town and surrounded himself with four servants in a country house, which he keeps improving all the time with various knickknacks. His main servant is a man who used to serve in the Persian Embassy and whom he hires despite dark hints of the man having committed a terrible crime sent to him in an anonymous letter. The other is an old woman with a pained expression, a young girl and an even younger girl, who may not even be a real servant, but who did try to kill herself at his house and then decided to stay. The owner of the house soon finds himself being watched covertly by all four, each of them hating him and his house and their life in it. So he goes away to town for a bit as a diversion. He wanders the odd, curved, weird avenues of the bad part of town before he comes to a run-down jeweler's shop. A jewel in the miserable shop window reminds him of the old woman and so he buys it. But then the idea takes him to go out into the enclosed garden behind the shop. He does so, eventually wandering through a neighbouring garden up to a greenhouse, all of a sudden seeing a young girl who is an exact though younger duplicate of the younger girl at his house. Her appearance and the way she stares at him without moving or making a single sound indeed frightens him. Going inside the greenhouse, he tries to send her away with a few coins, but she locks him inside the greenhouse instead. Finding a way out eventually, he enters a walled-in street with no exit except for a great hole in the wall leading to a plank laid across a massive drop into a huge deep chasm. Trembling all over, he makes it to the forbidding metal door at the end of the ravine and gets back to town. Only there, he is accosted by some soldiers and gets kicked by one of their horses. Robbing him, they leave him to die alone in an empty room, cursing all he had ever loved. The Reiter Geschichte takes place in 1848 in Italy and concerns Sergeant Anton Lerch of the Austrian commando of Rittmeister Baron Rofrano, who make their way towards Milan, miraculously defeating enemy after enemy without any real losses. Lerch, after seeing a woman he had not seen for many years, tells her he will come back to her house to be the master, but then winds up in a small town where almost everyone is dead, only to be confronted by himself riding over a bridge. Approaching himself, he disappears, right before whoever is left gets shot in the head by his Rittmeister for refusing to give up the horse he won from the enemy. Das Erlebnis des Marschall von Bassompier, taken from the memoirs of French courtier and diplomat François de Bassompier, published after his death in 1665, concerns Bassompier's attempted affair with a woman selling goods at a storm, only to find both her and her husband dead of the plague when he arrives.